All right, everybody, welcome back to uh, WSPA Team Championship. It's Kendall Cook. I'm joined in the booth with uh, Dean Raisler. How you doing, Dino? I'm doing pretty good. Day two. Day two. Got a good match with uh, Maria, and uh, her partner is what, Scott McFarland? Scott McFarland, yep. And then uh, Hunkins, obviously. She's been playing. Bonnie plays so good. She plays then, really good scotch from what I remember. Uh, and I don't know how to pronounce that last name. You would know. Well, I already butchered it. He said it's Karichi. Karichi? Or Karachi. Okay. Uh, we go back and forth. I said, <laughs> Karachi. It doesn't matter to me. I told him Bonnie's the headliner. Yeah, They right. got a good kick out of that. Yeah, but uh, these guys, we've watched a couple of matches with them. Uh, play pretty consistent. Even up race to five. They're dead even, right? Master double A, master double A. And uh, Hunkins and... Uh, Nick have the hot seat, so they'll have to get beat twice. All right. And then on the other table, we'll just mention them real quick. We got uh, the men's lower scotch. This is the semifinal match, so second and third place. And it's, uh, I don't know their Mark, first Mark names. Mark Heather and Matt Smith, and then okay. Matt Kinsman and Joe Braun. All right. You can see that. Uh, Who's Kinsman. the Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, right? No, we're, we're, they're working to get the, back to the hot seat in this yeah, match. Yeah, so they're going to have to beat uh, what team is in first? You know, I didn't even look. I'm okay. sorry. Oh, that's all right. A lot of great teams, though, in the in the Scotch. Scotch is an interesting format because you can have a couple of people who maybe aren't necessarily the highest players, but if their games mesh, they play well together. You know, they can beat some people. Yeah, but, I mean, if they're if – they're, used to one another's games you know i see a lot of people in these tournaments when they're forming their teams to try to go by the number uh, in this case it's uh is not so much with our you know master double a a b stuff but when they're, they're trying to max their fargo rates out but they really don't play well together yeah so well that's right that's and i said that we talked about that a couple of times and it, it's tough on both people i mean it's tough on the lower player because he's trying to play above himself and then the upper player is trying to play into the lower player which isn't his best game either you right, know that's, right so yeah you can have some funny funny things happen you might think you got a killer team but might not do anything and you've seen it i'm sure about you know oh, look at that eight the, ball running oh even, no that's the four never mind even with the four and five person teams you put the all-star team together and they just don't mesh and where the where the team that's played together a lot you know can knows what each other does and and doesn't try to do too much, but they just all play their own as best they can, and those are the teams that seem to go the best, go, for, go the farthest. Yeah. Well, so right now it's 1-1 one, one, uh, in the pit one. And uh, so that is, is the at the table here on the finals. What are they shooting solids, huh? Yeah, the way he's looking, he's looking at the six and where – yeah, they're a little funny on the on the five. You'd like to have the other angle on the five. But okay, you can like shoot the five and try it. to get it across, and then she can come down the table with the six. I don't like this. Like this is angle. a lot harder to spin than what he might think here. I think he's way better off playing side pocket. I'm pretty sure that goes past the ten uh, there. It's the only thing about this view is I can I can look, but I can't uh, can't show anybody. Well, he decided well, he got to a great kick off of that ten ball, I believe it is, and a perfect uh, angle to get up on it. So, so she's going to try to stun it down and miss the thirteen. I mean, obviously the follow through shots get a chance to run into danger there. I mean, really, all you got to do is roll up to the rail between the thirteen, nine, twelve, and that's not a horrible cut. You know, even if you're only one diamond up from the side, I don't mind being. No, I'm sorry. I drink Mountain Dew Zero. Do they have that? Would you? All right, sure. I want to keep up with the Mountain Dew click here in this booth. <laughs> it's it's not just in the booth. It's everywhere for me, unfortunately. i got to cut that down. All right, well, they're really looking at this. She can't decide. I, I personally wouldn't work too hard. I'd just roll up, get against the rail over here, and let them shoot a little bit tougher cut. She's going to jack up and try to draw it. A little bit, so it comes down without hitting the thirteen. Is my, like yeah, but yeah. she hit the third and missed a shot because she was so focused on. Yeah, when you jack up course, it takes away the percentage. Now they got 
Well, here's the deal. The six is still open for the corner, so they can't just play around with a table like they'd like to. A lot more control, though, because there's good shots and bad, you know. I'm shooting the 11 all the way up, I think, but. Yeah, just to hold the cue ball. I mean, yeah. just for that purpose alone. You got the 12. So, yeah, keeping above the six here, or on this half of the six. Oh, no, I'd be. Okay. Or play did... safe. Yeah. I don't like this because this goes off that 13 not too not too tough. A little low just past center. That'll that'll slide up in the corner, I think. He's looking at a bank to the Good corner enough. from that angle. Oops. I think I'd send it up. Yeah, there. 13 up the okay. up towards the bottom end here. Because that way, even if it doesn't go, hopefully yeah, you hang at, it. He's, he's looking at what you t you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Where is it going to go? Where is the cue ball going to go? That's what he was lining up first was the, the cue ball, I think. Uh, trying to figure out how oh, he was yeah, going to come yeah, back right. down table. You well, just got to get a little bit lucky is what, what it comes down to. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's looked at everything possible here. Yeah. But that's. But I like it off 13. Let's see what he decides he's going to do. I think anywhere else you just push the six in the spot you don't want it to be, I think. Yeah, I just don't know. I think he was like half committed to everything there, right? <laughs> kind of looks like it, yeah. I've been there. I can't say I blame him. Now the table is really open, I believe. Yeah, I think the way they've been playing, they should be able to walk their way through this rack. I like what she's looking at with the ball down here. A 12 ball. Get that out of the way. But nope, she's going to opt for the easier one. Yeah, and I think, I think I'd be rolling up here just trying to get on the uh, ball down on the end. But she rolled up for the 15, which is going to be just as good. Oh, here, that's right. I do. I, I knew I put that up here for a reason. It's so I could tell, but I still can't. I think that's the 10 down on the end because we got the 12 up here. Just going to end up with that in the side pocket for an alternate plan. Yeah, it's got a lot worse right here. How many teams do you have for the full deal? I know this is an Easter weekend, so I'd be curious to see. I think if we're down like too much. I think uh, Jeff said we're down like twenty people total. Oh, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. I mean, we're, considering we're at fourteen forty-four, yeah, uh, unique players, which is right. Um, yep, and then you know, some play scotch, don't play team, and vice versa. Sure. So that's what I always go by is the unique player count. I shot there by Bonnie, getting away from her a little bit here. Yeah, I think they're going to end up playing something of a safe. Here. Safe up on a, on a 10 ball up there would be my play. Yeah, you got to be a little careful because uh, you can leave that bank not too bad. Um, maybe off the 12 here, you know. If can, you, yeah, he's got to be right with it, though. If you And you got to watch out you don't hold it so much that it bounces back and kicks the 9 out of the way, yeah, you know. And it's all of a sudden. It could come off, I mean. Honestly, if you felt pretty controlled, you could come off the 12, off the rail, on the end rail here behind the 8. would be the best sew-up shot, but you got to be pretty confident at that point. Yep, we are having the tournament at Mad Apple, uh, for those of you in chat, somebody mentioned, on Sunday. Yeah, we're I mean, happy. It's only Easter, I mean. Yeah. It's Easter Sunday. You got to have a tournament, right? Yeah. Okay, so we went yeah. with, and maybe get a blocker. Yeah, that's good. That's speed. a good shot. So, yeah, we're we're very happy with the the turnout. Um, we were thinking ten percent down, and we're like, just the number of bodies down. It's pretty. Yeah, good. that's terrific, actually. Just shows you if people are committed to helping you make this work and making sure that it's part of their pool season. And obviously with the 
Wednesday versus Thursday start, you're thinking, well, not as many people will be able to get off of work or, or anything like that. And the other, the other major move we made this year was to uh, chop the, the scotch in half because the fields were getting so big. You yeah. have to make a lower and, a, and an upper. Uh, I think there's some tweaking to be done there yet, in my I opinion. Think, I think it's nice because you have time for a bunch of mini tournaments, which people appreciate, I think. And right. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, and, and not taking anything out of the minis, full full payback minis and yeah, you know all that stuff. Got a, got a lot of them uh, off this afternoon in a, in the slow time. People just want to play a lot of pool. They, you know, not everybody's going to win. Correct, and you so have they to want have, to have the opportunity. Uh, to play first a lot time of ever for a second chance uh, scotch, and that went over real well. Yeah, great. Yeah, and and that's it. I mean, you're 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 allowing people to play a lot of pool because they're taking off time from work. They're doing things right. that cost them money. You know, I mean, so. They just want to come and play a bunch of pool. They don't want to come and feel like they didn't shoot. Two and out. Know, two and out. And got to wait for team, right? Yeah, right. So it's just I think that part of it's really nice, and I think uh, the players really appreciate it. It was the only chance I got to play any pool before we got too busy here. I jumped in a couple of the minis, which was nice. Because I did qualify, I, you know. Uh-oh. Played it smart, though. Not leaving him dead out. Definitely a bankable ball here on the six. Yeah, Prob a natural come around for position if it, if the eight can go past the twelve, which uh, is hard to determine right here. Yeah, I mean realistically, I think uh, you could even bank the six uh, over towards. I think you could get it skinny enough to take it off the twelve. True. You know, um, you the easier bank, in my opinion, would be back at you. Yeah, but back I think you're going to end up on, I think the 12's in the way. It feels, he's looking right yeah. now. It is tough if I could, from the overhead view, it doesn't look like it goes. If you look at the overhead up there, it looks a little tight. But the 6 is off the rails, so that helps him. I don't know, it'd be tough for me not to try and lay it up there by the 12. He is looking at that. He kind of lined up okay. He did change back to the bottom right corner, uh, but he is. He did look for a second at that bank off the twelve. These you got to hit crisp. Nice. He did too. Yeah, and he had the right idea. He was trying to zip it one more rail to get to the right side of yep. the eight ball, but it's tough to hit it that fast and hard. But she's got a nice bank here, actually. Not too bad. Bank or cut. I mean, a little off-angle bank, but you, there you have to, you know, hammer it, too, with some inside right. Or she's probably thinking, if I can get it inside that 12, I've accomplished my goal, too. Yeah, that's, I think she's kind of looking both at it right now. Important game when it's 1-1 one, one to get to 2. I mean, it's, you can say that all match long, but psychologically winning this game is big. Yeah, I agree, especially since they had some uh, iffy balls in there. You guys, chime in in the chat if you want to talk about anything. you got questions about the players. You kind of know, know most of these people anyway. I know Maria real well. She tried to burn my house down one day. <laughs> That's, I'd say that doesn't seem right, but I don't know if that seems right. Look at Look at this. That dot. Oh, oh, no. So robbery. Close. Nice Man. try there. Well, and now you just served it up on a platter. Thought she made it. I think uh, these two are going to take advantage for sure here. Yeah. Good experience of a player not to get position there. Well, a little update over here. If you're watching the other match in pit two, you got uh, Heather Smith and Kitzman Braun. And uh, Kitzman Braun up by two, uh, racing to uh, four. 
So yeah, one game spot in that uh, in that uh, AA versus AB scenario. So we got a two one lead for the team with uh, no losses. So what's your next big casino tournament? Well, let's we'll see what I got there. going. I got two weeks off, which is so looking forward to it. Yeah. I go over to Soaring Eagle uh, for the Michigan VNEA. I broker that tournament over there. I brought them into Soaring Eagle along with their state dart tournament, which was a few weeks back. We had 903 dart players. Nice. That's yeah. pretty good. That's like and then, Wham Whammo gets... Uh, Whammo's the biggest one. But oh, I, I, I go believe, to like Indiana State, and those are only 1,500, 1,600 players. I think Whammo and like the one of the Dakotas is huge. But yeah, Whammo's like 5,000, I think. It is real close. Yeah. yeah, I looked it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, I, I guess I'm saying that as a compliment because they've been around forever and they're the biggest tournament. So for you to get almost 1,000 players, that's like comparable to Indiana State darts, which we do. Yes. Also. You know. Yes. So then I got my tour finals up at the Island Casino. The last weekend of april which is consistent those two hours either flip-flop or those weekends and that's my uh i think it's ten thousand three hundred added singles one of these years i'm going to retire and i'm going to actually get to come and play some of i've done I'm talking to people this weekend it's like you i've never played in one year i said yeah. well i'm in my 21st year i mean i don't know <laughs> how you avoided me that long but on the flip side it's i'm having a little difficulty with the southern more casinos playing ball now um I don't know what their deals are. I mean, I'm not going to beg, but yeah, I get a lot of phone calls from all the northern casinos. You know, I'm actually contracted with Island Casino through 2028. Yeah, that's you nice. Know. Well, that's a good venue, and then Soaring Eagle. I know you. That's Soaring good Eagle's venue for a you, very right? uh, one of the better venues you can probably find for pool. It's a tiered, a tiered layout with four tiers. You're overlooking the next one. Well, I would. I that's one I'd like to go and see. Uh, that venue, because I've heard about that from other people, too. Yeah, in January, we had 693 players in my Open over there. Yeah, More than a lot great. of state tournaments get. <clears throat> it's a perfect storm over there. you got a great casino, a great venue, a lot of added money, and a lot of players. So it just it makes, you know, the location just... Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Michigan, UP, Canada. It's just, you know. Yeah, everybody. You, you just can't find that set up too much anywhere, you know. So how many of the WPBA events do you run a year? Well, this year is obviously a big year. I got 11 and then I got a, a specialty event in New Hampshire, which were in June, right before Soaring Eagles tournament. The week before, I got 16 top players coming in for a Scotch Doubles 10 ball tournament. Oh. Um, in a brand new pool room there in Laconia, New Hampshire. Okay. And we're at a resort, staying a resort across the street called the Margate. Um, but the whole kicker is, if you've heard me say Laconia, New Hampshire, and some of you are going to recognize it as a biker rally okay and we're going to do it during the biker rally oh with about two hundred fifty thousand bikers okay in the area so the object of course maybe biking fill is, the seats huh well like it's it's not only that it's viking is one of our main sponsors along with diamond and uh they just had a vision of trying to get pool in front of people that some may be playing but we're trying to get it to new yeah new new people right and uh i think i really got a good feeling uh, it's the girls are, are excited to be able to come and yeah it's, it's like a it's like a pool vacation we got a lot of stuff lined up for them it's in june we're right on a private beach there's yeah. hiking we got pontoon boats for them we're gonna have a barbecue we're gonna do just a lot of good stuff a lot of challenge matches at the resort so yeah i'm, I'm looking forward to it yeah i mean we got to start getting these these ladies and these guys paid you know our sport won't be legitimized until you you shouldn't have to pay to watch your sport i i realize football now they're starting to get into the realm of charging you to watch your your teams but to me i feel like that's a failure not a victory so i mean i 
until we get to the point where advertisers are the ones that are paying for you to be able to watch something that you love to watch, I, I think we're losing. <laughs> you know, so I think once we can get to that point and people see the value because they see how many people we hit, we're the number one participation sport in the world, which means the most people in the of any other sport have a contact and experience in some way with pool. Right. So if we can't open up to that market and actually get people to see the value in what we have here, uh, boy, we're doing something wrong. And <laughs> I think, you know, it's got to get fixed. And it, it, it's sad that pool continues to carry the negative connotation of the smoky pool rooms of the past. It's just, I think it's something that's embedded in a lot of people's minds. But what we have to do is with the new generation and the kids, they don't even need to, Know worry about, about it. that. We yeah. need to start it. We need to start them over fresh, right? Yeah. With a new perspective on it, you know. And, and I mean, it's it's a brilliant game. I mean, honestly, it's it's uh, and you you know it. I know it. You know, it, it is a brilliant game, and it, it's something that you know. I think people don't understand the type of control that we have over it. You know, it, and it's uh, one of those one of those things where I think the more we can get that out there, the better off we're going to be. Obviously. Let's see if I can, uh, talking about those kids, or the kids, let's see if I can't uh, share that with everybody, too, because we got some kids over here, too, uh, playing. I got a ref in my way right now, but I'll find him eventually. But I, I'm impressed with how many kids we actually do have uh, playing here. Um this weekend, because this isn't exactly what we would call a kids' kids tournament necessarily. No, no. I mean, they're coming with their parents, and I know that uh, Kurt Jennison has his kid here, and um, there's one that's well, a couple so, of my juniors are here, and no, there. There's one that's barely taller than a table over there. You can you can see him right there. I just, yeah, that I one. just put him up for everybody yeah. here for a second. I mean. Uh, you know, but but I've seen no less than you know Levi's here. He's he's one of the students, and we've got. Uh, I tell you, Damon. I don't know if you've met him yet. I haven't. That young man. He is uh, going to be a phenom. So uh, I'm excited about our juniors. I, I think you bringing that up is an absolute truth. I mean, we got to get these kids understanding that there's some pride in what we do. You know, and. Uh, just how intelligent of a game it really is. Well, let's see. Two to zero. Yeah, still and two it to looked zero. like uh, Heather and Smith got an opportunity here. Yep. Got a big pocket there. Yeah. So let's see how this goes. Overcut it, if anything. Don't undercut it. At speed, you can undercut well, it. Like I say, a big pocket, and he yep. got it done. I think it goes without the ball being there, too. All right, tightens it up. So now that's actually an even race. They're both racing to two. Correct. So technically, I guess he'd still say Heather and Smith have the advantage at this point. Nice shot by Maria, except yep. he might have tied sent, that. Yeah, sent that eight ball for a ride. Okay, so we can make the nine in a corner and spin it and leave her. You know, do you want that ball or do you want to come all the way down here? I don't know. I kind of like leaving that, him leave there, for the there for the eight, for right? Eight, right? Yeah. He can't make this count. He can't do nothing with that, so he's kind of forced to shoot the nine in this. We have to make that cue ball travel. Yeah, that definitely doesn't go the combination into the corner. Or, I mean, the 13 or the 11 don't go in so that he pocket. He played for the 12, so that's going to make the 8 a lot rougher. He left her a good angle to get the cue ball down the table. Yeah, I mean, I guess that 11 probably goes in the side pocket. Oh, for sure. Or is it the 15? I can't tell the apartment it's 11. don't have my glasses on yeah it's it's tough when i got everything as small as i got it right now too i 
Oh, I got the wrong camera. I got to mark them here. I'm trying to find where that is. Oh, there. Finally, I found it. All right, so 12 on the side, or she's yep. shooting at the 11 right here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is Took a great shot, Took me by surprise. Really. That, uh, I wouldn't have yeah. thought that went, honestly, looking at it from here. But that's why, being on the table, it's a lot easier to see. Now, can he hold this ball for... Must be a player break over on pit two. We don't have time for that, do we? I guess. <laughs> it's five minutes, right? Or I don't know. I was, yeah, I was, that was a little dig there. Oh. For the Vegas situation. Well, you were too busy. You probably don't even know all of that. Oh, no. I have no idea. But, uh, and, uh, oh, they changed. Yeah, that's right. They just right. We we're talking about the the bath. No bathroom yeah, breaks. Things are well, for that's, five minutes, change to seven minutes. Change to make sure you don't have any toilet paper on your foot when you're running down the hall. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I can't even remember what organizations. Me neither. Were I don't, that, but, but I have heard that. Yeah. That's yeah. That's something. I I just think it's silly when we're going to start restricting stuff like that. I mean. I saw a couple of pretty funny memes about that whole thing. And I mean, I get it. You know, you got these organizations, they're investing a ton of money into this stuff. They're trying to trying to promote it. And you can't have, you know, there's got to be some type of structure. But I mean, you got to pick and choose the structure you're going to, you know, enforce, I think. And same thing with the ladies and everything else. You yeah. know, I mean, I think. You know, we people. really haven't had much problem with ours, but you know they all respect one another. And okay, so this is look at that shot, right off the ball. He's going to come out. I, <laughs> I tell you, they're still just working, huh? A lot of work. Maria says, "I have no clue where this cue ball is going to end up." <clears throat> she really can't. Yeah, I mean, it, if you can float it down to the end rail and back out, it'd be ideal, but I don't know if that happened. Players starting to fill in now with uh, the B team starting in about a little over an hour and a half, so the, the broom's going to really fill up both rooms. We have two rooms here. We have 66 tables in this room and 54 up top um, at the Central Wisconsin Expo Center here. And Rothschild. I thought I saw 111. Must only be 110. Huh? There's 118 total tables. Oh. Yep. Or 120 total with the two pit. Yeah, that's what it is. 120 total. Okay. I was thinking Appleton, we can only do 118. You just start filling the lobby up, up upstairs. That'll work. Well, back in the day when we had valley tables, we actually used the hotel. Hotel had a room. I think I put twelve or fourteen in there. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. that the action room. room it turned into, which was kind of designed get them all up there at night. You know, yeah. You get this locked down, and I think I left it open all night even. Well, that's nice. I mean, I, I miss that from back in the day. You know, all the state tournaments you used to be able to play all night, and then people ruined that stuff, you know. Eh, I can tell you exactly who did, but I'm not, I won't mention <laughs> their names. Back at Olympia. Yeah, is that – because that was that awesome. An, Look at this shot. excellent shot there. Now I'm going to replay that. I'm going to draw back out, possibly, the backup table. Even though we're going to be replaying the second table also, I'm going to replay this, so. Sorry to everybody watching tip Pit 2, but I do want to see this shot from Maria again because she timed that and hit it just right. Yes. So, beautiful shot. Uh, I'll try not to replay it four times. There we go. Back to it. Live action. Scott McFarland. Going to play the 13 and draw strong out of there. 
Looks like he can create the angle. It looks like he's got enough that he can force it. He did. Just Keep didn't going. get back far enough. Yep. Uh, she's got a blocker for the cut. You know, she won't scratch, but it's an awful. It's, yeah. I've seen her hit some pretty tight shots, so I think there's definitely a chance that she'll cut this ball straight in the hole. Yeah, poor old Olympia got torn down there in a kind of walk, and it's. Yeah, that's a shame because I, I I got a lot I mean, of was, pool it, memories it was there. The, it was the perfect place for a pool tournament yes. because the rooms weren't all that great, but they were cheap. Yep. And they had a restaurant, they had a, a club, and the concessions were pretty good. And we were scattered around in different rooms. I mean, yeah, so it made it so unique, big, though. Yeah. You know, the spiral staircase down for the one table. You know, um, a lot of a lot of just got a lot of nooks and crannies, but man, we had some fun. I played one of the worst state tournament matches in history against Lyle Gable uh, down in that room at the bottom of the spiral staircase. Yeah, you aren't going to find a lot of venues like that anymore, for sure. Even this is a rarity, you know, yeah. this, this complex here that you're in. Uh, just to have this much open space, most of them now are a lot more constricting. Gonna have to start renting out old warehouses and <laughs> I got a couple of things I'm looking into, but yeah. It's a. But it is tough. The casinos are really the only places that can house anything like that, you know, I mean, because they're so grandiose. Yeah, but you never can find a casino with enough space to host this. Right. This 1,400, 1,500 player event. What do you think of? Uh, have you ever seen the venue up in the new uh, Green Bay? Uh, what is Rush it? Rush Center. Yeah, the Rush. I will be seeing it shortly. Yeah, that's that's a really beautiful venue for pool. I'm uh, afraid of the price, to be honest. I think I think Whammo went there. I mean, I, I can't know they be. Did, but Whammo is in a whole different situation than our nonprofit is. Okay. You got to remember that they're vendors and they got money coming in all year. Right. We're different. We're just running a pool tournament. That being said, we take the majority of our sanction fees and dump them right into added money. Yeah, That's I what's mean, it's made this so successful. The the reality is, the people that run them, you guys have to make money. I mean, if, if people want to continue to have tournaments, I mean, you guys aren't here to donate time. You know, I mean, that's you know, and anybody who thinks different than that, I think. They can start trying to run their own tournaments and see how it goes. You know, I mean, a lot of effort and a lot of work by a lot of people to put this thing together and make it run smooth and not have, you know, you're going to have a percentage of people that complain no matter what you do. But, I mean, overall, you guys get nothing but rave reviews uh, because you all work hard at it and you deserve to at least be, you know, compensated for your time for doing all the work. And we got a really, really good board that stuck together for what's going on 12, 15 years. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys have all been together for, for quite a while. So, And there's one of the former board members and presidents, right, walked in front of us. You people can't see it, but Ron Crum. Okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't, uh, I didn't actually know that. We jokingly called when we first flipped. The RCPL, the Ron Crown Pool League. Nice. Got a lot of chuckles out of that. Well, what are we doing here? It's been a quite a break on one, but we are over on two. Kitzman Braun still leading two to one. And uh, looks like Heather Smith. Um, I don't know what they're know doing. What they have Are they here. on a coach or something? Must have been. I don't know, nobody's moving. Oh, there. Now they're now they're coming to the table here. Kitzman's done real well the last few years, hasn't he? He has come up and played in some of my casino tournaments and done pretty well, also. 
Nice guy. Yep, I like, for sure. I like Matt a lot. He actually helped us get some of our first cameras for the stream. He helped us organize a lot of that stuff, research, and bought a bunch of stuff. And uh, did, yeah, a lot, you just, did a lot of work you, with him. You're us. just not going to get any lip or anything out of him. He's just going to play and just so yeah. laid back, you know. Yep, and now he's uh, he's involved in that Geneva Billiard Club, right? Geneva, okay, Lake okay, Geneva yeah, i got to get down there. Billiards. I haven't been there either, but really nice class act just like they are, you know, and uh, not real big, you know, but, I mean, you don't necessarily have to have that, you know what I mean? Uh, they just added another table, I, I think, so that I think they're up to four, five. Okay. Something like that. Uh, but really a nice place. So if you get a chance, it must be in Lake Geneva. Yep, would be my guess. If you get a chance to get over to Lake Geneva, check it out with those guys, for those guys. So they'd appreciate it. So I'll break the news to you here. Um, I'm working on an Appleton Open. Oh, um, first weekend of October. Nice uh, so, convention center. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I'm trying to put it together. It's I'm trying to put the numbers together so I don't go too far under to get above, you know. Yeah. How that works. Because the city has got to get a rental out of it. That'd be great. I I like that venue. I think it's a, I think what's nice about it is you've got the entire downtown life down there, so people like coming down. I think, you know, obviously having the Mad Apple right down the road is yep. not a disadvantage of any kind. Uh, but I think just generally all the choices they got downtown, you know, oh if they God. just step yeah. out on the street, they get to. I wish I had more time to get around. I like that Victoria's Italian yeah. place there. Yeah, That's good. That's high yeah. on my list. Yeah, Katsuya across the street there. It's a real good hibachi style restaurant. Um, they actually, that family owns two of them. They own the, the one out on the uh, front of the road. I can't think of the name of it. That was the original one. Okay. Uh, I can't think of it, but they but they do a really nice job. I always have, you know, very entertaining uh, cooks, you know. So, uh, but a lot of choices down there. So I think it'd be good to run as many down there as we can, you know. Well, it's the good venue. the uh, convention services bureau, the guy that we've been working with, was has been pumping for another tournament, and I've been thinking of it. I mean, scheduling is rough for me, especially. Yeah. everything i got going but i found uh they want to do a three-year deal uh so you know same weekend first weekend of october every year to keep it consistent and it works good because the acs is a month after and yeah my oshkosh open is in january you know try to space things out well it's I, really when when everybody's coming back to play a lot of pool yeah you know september you know usually mm -hmm. right you got first part of september you got leagues starting back up got people really thinking about it so that'll be nice to have one of the first big events of the year. And I think, I think it'll people. I think it'll drop pretty well. I mean, I know Oshkosh is built up to over three hundred players. I think I, I'm hoping we can actually start out at that level on Appleton. Yeah. Oh, with, yeah. A, with enough promotion from everybody, you know. Well, I'll help you promote it for sure. I won't ask you for more than four thousand sponsors. <laughs> No problem. So Maria there at the table. Two two now. Could go on for a while. I'll warn you, I won't be here the whole match because <laughs> I have to get prepared for that. Send the... hey, send uh, the big kid over here. Send Martin over here. Yeah, I don't know if you'll fit through the. Uh, I'm just Come kidding. On. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeez. No, but today is a good day. He hasn't had a drink yet. I don't think. I hope not. Anyway. <laughs> so I'll be able to talk to him. And, and if anybody buy, if they start buying them the vodka Red Bulls. I'm gonna have to put my foot down <laughs> one of these times. Drink some like Kool Aid. That Red Bull, I can't. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I've never had any. I drink enough Mountain Dew to. Keep and I used to be on the up. Mountain Dew. I mean, I'm I'm sitting here. It used to be just like you, and yep. probably a major reason why I lost about fifty pounds. Coffee, soda, yeah. Well, me too. I'm, I hide it decent, but uh, I could definitely. Oh, nice, nice cut shot there. there. 
that was um, Kitzman, so that's going to put them on the hill. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, in Iowa just a, a, basically just a full year ago, and I was given a margarita a feflova ride back to Wisconsin. Margaret. And yeah. uh, <laughs> we stopped at the gas station because I had to fill up for the trip. And uh, I come in the gas station to pay for it. She's already got her card out. I got to pay for gas. She gave me a ride all the way down here and back. You know, she was very good. At and then she slams two Mountain Dew Zeros on the counter. She says, if you're going to drink Mountain Dew, this is what you're going to drink. <laughs> and no, I, I counted. I've only had six regular Mountain Dews for the whole year because yeah. it was in a position where I couldn't find the Mountain Dew Zero. And if I was driving semi or something, I needed that little yeah. caffeine because I don't drink coffee. Yeah. So I thought I did pretty well, and it was a big factor in uh, helping me lose some weight. Yeah, I think that's probably where 90% of my extra calories come from. So I don't eat bad, but it's tough, you know, especially when you live the life you live or traveling oh, yeah. around doing the stuff I do, you know. I mean, it's pretty easy to just eat junk all the time. Yeah, or eat steak. Like, that last too. trip to Soaring <laughs> Ingles, five trips to, to one of the two steakhouses. But... All right, we're... Working on our brake stroke. Right Mark now. Heather is working on his brake stroke because he wants to break a big rack here. Now's the time. I mean. Nice there, cut in the side pocket yeah. uh, by Maria. That was a good break. 11 in the side, spreading out. Let's see what comes down here now. All right, right off the get go, I say solids is the way to go. Obviously, with the the 12 on the rail and that others there. Well, I would say Heather and Smith on pit table two definitely need this. They yep. need, to, need to win, obviously, or at least keep control because you can't give up that last game. Kitzman and Braun will be more than happy to take advantage. So we're looking at the two ball up in the corner and the four is sitting next to it, so he wants to slide across. Give her a shot. Table one, yeah. Got to keep them with us here. Table table yeah. one, Dean's talking about. Two Sorry. ball in the upper left. Nice. Oh, oh no, missed oh. again. Uh-oh. How much for that run out? On table two. Only thing different on table one scoreboard is the names. Rest of it's dead heat. Dead heat, race to five. Should be done by, what, 6.37? Well, it, if it goes to a double dip, let's just say that there should be time to just get it done before 8 o'clock. The, the bar closes at 2, huh? Tonight, <laughs> the bar last calls at one thirty. I had a hard time convincing people of that last night. <laughs> but they just thought that this should be open all night. Yeah. But this is the same laws as everybody else has to follow. Yeah, it's a, I'd like to figure that law out, to be honest with you, because it never has made a whole lot of sense to me. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. This is uh, the WSPA Team State Championship here at the uh, Rothschild. What is this? Central the Wisconsin Expo Central Expo Wisconsin Center. Uh, Expo Center. And I'm here with Dean Raisler, the man in charge, the man responsible for a lot of pool in, in the state of Wisconsin, but uh, for sure uh, helping to organize the WSPA tournament with the uh, help of quite a few others. You want to list them off? Give sure. Them credit? I'll give credit to the entire board, and Jeff Martin I'll give credit to first because he was the one that took the phone call when I decided that we needed to go independent. Yeah. And then... Uh, Greg Andler is a president. He's our more of our poster child, you know. Yeah, he. I mean, he does a great job at it too. Yeah, he, he mingles, doesn't he? He mingles great, and he uh, definitely is a good face for the organization. And we got the workhorse Kim Silver on the stage. And Kim, then uh, Kim does what? She does. She's the secret. She's the secretary. Okay. But she she does since she doesn't play pool. She's on the stage like with me. Yep. A lot, a lot, a lot. And then Beth Voskul is the treasurer. Yeah, okay. Beth is the treasurer. And okay. then I'm I'm a trustee. Yep. But uh, 
Greg will be on stage, he just announced, which is a rarity, so they'll probably take pictures of him. <laughs> <laughs> and not to mention, he was kind enough to get into the first mini. I know, I said, to says, make uh, sure we filled it up. You're playing a mini, they forced me. He said, yeah. they forced me. <laughs> we didn't have to twist his arm too hard, I'll say that much. Well, that's a good shot. She's going to leave her partner a little bit tough, either that 12 in the side. I think that's probably the shot. I think it's the only shot. 12 in the side. Yeah, I mean, if they wanted to play semi-safe, you could play it in the side, draw back a little, and bring it up here and leave yourself the 9 and leave them a little tough. But I think the only real shot is that 12, I agree. Set for the 11 next, even though. You'd like to keep it there for the eight. I think it's too tough to get back to the nine right here. Yes. So I think you got to take what you can and uh, set for the 11. Good cut. That's going to be nice. So the real test is nine to the eight. I think. Uh, and Bonnie will be shooting it. If it gets that far. Well, the eight ball should be shooting. The nine, the position yeah, that's to what the I meant. nine. Yeah, I meant the eight ball, sorry. Yeah, the position to the nine, or off the nine, up to the eight is going to be uh, all on Scott. That's, that's the, I, she looked at that right. It's about where you want to be. Nice little draw shot. Just hook around off the rail, come around the four. Using yeah. their coach now to, to plan what, where he wants her to be. He's looking at this to draw, like you said. See, he and could there's go also a follow. There, there's yeah. a follow shot in that in that realm too. So I think either way, I think you just want to make the ball, and either one of those is. I, I like to follow yeah. or to draw because it seems that there's a more percentage of making it. I don't know. That's just me. Yeah. See, he just pointed it, and honestly, about where the cue ball is now is where you want it to would end up. Would be sufficient. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, a little nicer would be good, but. Uh, I think just if you can get it off the nine and over to that spot again, I think you're pretty good. So if the, if Bonnie was my partner, I'd say just make it <laughs> and don't leave me against the rail. And we're making good. basically stop it, I would say. Yeah. The only other bad spot would be straight in, but that'd be tough to get to from where she is. So that's a good shot. <laughs> yeah, or or it, over that, the ball. Yeah, a little extra roll didn't. Didn't help matters, but I think he can handle this. She might have got far enough that he doesn't have to worry about. Oh, yeah, he's alongside it. So this shouldn't be too bad. Hit it good speed, though, because if you end up short, you end up banking the eight. Yeah, you can hardly get in trouble. Four, yeah, oh, boy. boy. <laughs> yeah, he hit it hard. but Look at that shape, though. He was right there. He's not going to be happy with himself. Well, Kitzman and Braun are at the table right now uh, with the opportunity to advance to the finals match where they would have to, and we don't know who the, I could have brought up the bracket, I suppose. I can do that. That's one thing I don't really look a lot at the brackets. I'm trying to manage everything. On the well, other side of it, you know. Doug is the other one we didn't mention. Yeah, Doug Garn, long-time employee of mine. I don't even know how many years. I think it's 18 years or something. Doug just organizing the chart. <laughs> I look at that chart, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, we should almost take a picture of that sometime with all the different colors and all the people would maybe go, holy man, that's what you're dealing with? All the cross-section lines yeah. and all that Nothing stuff. Nothing is yeah. like it's every, like on a, on a single tournament, you got your times, right? Well, this his is screen like, is like, how wide is it? Well, it's 34 is, inches. Yeah. I, I took the good one back. I got it in my office now, and I give him the, the secondary 34-incher. Yeah. Uh oh That is an unlikely miss from Maria. She will not miss that ball very often. Oh, that wasn't Maria. I'm sorry. Wrong table. Oh, no, I was at the right table. I, now I'm screens. getting confused Too by many two screens. Of them. We're trying... Joined for what? We're going to have a great winner right here. I don't know if you can hear that through everything. What is that for? It's a $3,300 Q, Jacoby. Nice. 
Oh, oh my Mike God! Taylor from Cuda. Oh, he, we got some booze coming in. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a hit! I think he hit on. Oh, I can't even say it. I'm sure he's. Uh, some, I'm sure he's going to donate that yeah, back to his tour on some entertainment only machines. Mike did okay. Oh Put yeah. It that way. Um. Bonnie missed a nine, so this is. So we should point out who's, uh, our our uh, vendors, since yeah. you're one of them, two of them. Um, the Mad Apple Streaming, of course, is what we're on right now. And uh, do you have a name for your shirt business, or is it just part of your... Magnetic uh, Inc., yep. Magnetic Inc. is out in a foyer with a big spread and screen printing operation out there as you're coming into the room. And then we have uh, Jacoby Q&Q Q Q Q Repair, of course, like always. And then we have some guy named Nate. Mindem doing something down there. I don't know what he's doing. I think he sells clothes to the homeless. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> Pool players are almost that sometimes. Uh, Nate. Nate's quite the guy. Yeah, I like Nate. Nate. Uh, Nate works hard. I'll, I'll I'll give him a lot of credit for the fact that he's got a drive to him. And that's what it takes. Right. So. Right. That that display he has just keeps getting grandiose and more grandiose. Well, it's not as big as, but if he tries it again and tries to block you out next time in Appleton, <laughs> his his bill is going to go up yeah. exponentially, or if that's even a word, but you know what I'm trying to say. He, did you yeah, still he, you still got some shirts printed? I hope that weekend. Oh yeah, we did fine. Between the two events, we do just fine. And I like doing this event because these are most of the players I know. You know, and everybody's pretty supportive. They, Try and give them decent stuff, you know. Well, you just see so much of it being worn, too, you know. It's like, yeah. Every, I mean, a pool player wants to wear, if they're a true pool player, they want to wear something about yeah. the sport. I mean, face it. I mean, if you look at my closet, it's you're hard to find a shirt that doesn't have a logo or, or something on it, right? Yeah. My wife, when we go out, she's always happy because I'll, I'll switch out of my Mad Apple gear for once in a blue moon. You know, I tried to bank that in and left an open shot. And really, this is just a roll-up shot. I don't think you work too hard for this, and you can cut the eight in the exact same pocket. Or Let's you hit it a little more firm and come this across. This time he doesn't have to overpower it, so maybe he can guide her in. Good, good speed, exactly good like speed. you said. Good, perfect, excellent. Yeah. excellent. Really a nice shot, nice shape. I think Bonnie's going to have no problem wrapping this up. She'd love to be left-handed right now, I'm sure, but yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure she can handle help. this one way or another. Well, and you just can't get, you can't dig down on this cue ball at all, which is your natural tendency. You want to, you want to make sure you stay in the upper half of the ball so that the cue ball doesn't come anywhere near that pocket down table so you got to hit her firm got a this little is bit of left. for the win on table two not to take away from table one we're both on and bonnie okay. puts it down perfect cue ball three control. to two pumpkins and karachi and for the win we got this bank shot and we'll Tight replay bank. that if he can get her and he's gonna draw it he's gonna draw into it the, the low uh right english here to shorten it up i would believe too oh. much oh no Oh, no. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. All right. Going to put the other team on the hill. Oh, so my goodness. Hill, hill I got to stick around for this now. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Keep it tight. Keep it interesting. Heather and Smith aren't too disappointed by that result. That's like an early Christmas present. I like the jerseys by these two. Oh, yeah, I do, actually. I like yeah. the colors. How many years has WSPA been going now? WSPA is, I think, this is their 10th year. I think we started in 2015 with our first tournament. Doug Garn has just entered the booth. He's smiling. I don't know why. Uh oh What did I do? 
both rooms to see if there, how the seating was. There's not a bad seat in place. Well, that's getting here early on a Monday coming out of Iowa, and I shouldn't speak about travel woes because Kendall did his <laughs> own from Connecticut yeah. um, to get all set up, and we did unload all these tables in the rain. Yeah, I heard. A had, dock. Yeah, so, I heard that they almost got stuck up in Minnesota. Yeah, too, right? too. it would have, it would have snow up there. So I was pretty nervous coming into this, and I even told Doug and Jeff, he says, "There's no guarantees it's starting at one o'clock," you know, with all the workload. Well, but, I'll tell you what, Kitzman took his frustration out on that break because he crushed that break. Look at how wide open that thing looks. The nine and the three are the only two that really look like they're going to cause any grief. Yeah, that I did notice you you laid out the seating different. Well, and it all it all stemmed from putting more tables in this room. Now every table is five and a half feet apart. Yeah. On both on both end to end and side to side, which is is not the you know, like six feet, right? Yeah, but it's enough. You can, you, it's enough. And uh, by doing that, and even having a couple of walkways to get out to the exits. Yep. Um, we were able to uh, cut down. I had a lot more. Uh, banquet tables for seating for eating and everything and but i just took a few of them away and uh it allowed us to turn a, a row of tables to really create more movement through because we had some congestion yeah no i agree i think uh i've seen everybody and we aren't as full as you're going to be yet right uh but i definitely can tell that there's room to get around stuff i don't feel like you're standing on top of people you know yeah i'm pretty happy with it how it turned out and And even on the t in the top room, by taking a few tables out of there and putting them down here, it allows us just oodles of room for yeah. seating. And that's why the team event is here versus Appleton, because right. they try to put the team event in Appleton, and it would be a real, without being able to use extra space, because uh, the diamonds can't get loaded into the hotel. There's no loading dock to get them in there. You know what I'm saying? There's no room for a forklift to even try. Yeah, I know. I was there the one year trying to yeah. get the valleys in. Well, there. yeah, that I remember was, pushing. That was, yeah, of course that was I from do. pushing from the next county oh, over. And could cow. you try pushing a diamond on the same thing? Remember, yeah, MH was sucked. there, and you were there, and sucked. They, you had another situation where it was coming in late. I think, if I remember right. Uh, oh, sorry, we're we're not uh, paying attention, to you guys. We apologize. Uh, let's see. Bucks. And Bill, what's going on, Mr. Larson? Mike Connor. Wisconsin, that explains a lot. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> we probably missed another comment. Wes Pool says hi, Dean. I'm not I sure I know who Wes Pool is, but. You'll have to no, we should pick on that mic for a little while. What's the problem with Wisconsin there, Mike? And notice I said Wisconsin, not yeah. Wisconsin. What, not West. We finally got the name right. Yeah. Here are my favorite guys in the stream. Come on back. Somebody's got to talk to you. Okay, Kitzman and Braun looking like they're going to try to get uh, – get back the one they lost but they still got to figure out that nine ball that's a tight window down there to get on it be tough tough for me not to try and almost get there here but i think you got to get position on the 10 to come off one rail yes and and squeeze between and, the eight and the deuce yeah maybe you know here just a stun shot between the five and the six would be one that, you know, because you really only got to get, again, just past that six ball. So it'd be hard for me not to at least consider it. And I think he is right now. He's kind of looking at that. So, yeah, right. Just put his hand exactly. We're talking about pit table two right now, obviously. Yep. Shooting the 11, trying to get down to the nine ball. That is our on the hill match so we're gonna stay over there we'll talk a little bit about that until it ends out 
Look at this so shot. Go up. Oh, my come goodness. Come up clean. Did He's going to come off that. enough for the nine ball. Terrific. Wow, is that going to make it a lot easier? Really a terrific shot there by Matt. Uh, I do want to go, even though, again, we're going to interrupt game one. I want to watch that again by Matt because he did hit this so good to get there. Beautiful job. And, it, I mean, couldn't have ended any better for his nope. partner. Now, hopefully, his par partner will deliver, get up above the eight ball here, or at least not get behind it. So. It's hard to believe Matt might have gotten too good on this nine ball, a little too straight. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, no. again. And he fouled, too, in ball in hand. Well, wow. here's an opportunity. So your start shot is a six, right? Uh, I think six, so, because yeah. that's kind of a mess there. I'd say the six in the side yeah. would be a good start. Yeah. Either side, really, depending on what you like better. What does he have on for a shirt? Is that to Vinny? You know, I didn't see it. Yeah. I looked at it, but I didn't read it. Custom cues. I didn't see the first part. I think it's Barrett. Oh, no, Barrett. Barrett Brothers. All right. Your guess is good as mine on that one. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Well, that interesting choice there. I think the five will roll go. that far. Yeah. Five will go. Snap shot would have been better. Uh oh, there's, I don't know. It's close. He's looking up table. I think he's hooked. Unless he's looking up for where the cue ball is going to come back to. I can't see from this. That's going to be, where are we here? So we're on table two on the one ball with Mark Heller shooting. Trying to get a leave on a seven and, and position to get up for the deuce or three. Did uh, Hitzman and Braun get back to the table? No, not after the nine ball miss. Okay. Again, that's a semifinal match. So the winner of this goes into the final. Uh, Boy, that's brutal. It's going to lengthen this game out a bit. Yeah, I don't like hitting that ball. I think it was. It may have been tough to get from the, a little seven to the deuce, but got a bad, bad result here. Yeah, I don't know. You got to either get yeah right where he's looking. Up on the top side of that seven somehow. Players. The tables will assign at 530. We'll do announcements at 22. Hey, Jack. I got another one of the board members that just snuck into the booth here, Jeff Martin. He's out handing out, what are you handing out there? Payout slips and flyers, side pots for advertising for the teams, which is a side entry fee that is optional. And uh, Jeff, I was just telling him earlier about, uh, Kendall asked me when we started the, oh my God, we can see him. This is Jeff we're, Martin, this guy here. We're yeah. going to we're gonna go over oh. there in just a second because we're not live there, but here we we'll, go. we'll skip over. Say hi to here Jeff, everybody. This is Jeffrey, this guy What's here. What's up, Jeffrey? Say hi to the millions of fans you got out there. And yeah. Dean. But I was telling them uh, when Kendall asked me, this is our 10th 10th tournament, right? 
We started in 15 with our first, right? Yeah. So I, Jeff was on a receiving call of mine when I was a little frustrated about uh, wanting to go independent, and we talked about it. And it didn't take us long to figure we could do better for the players being independent than sanctioned through another body. And uh, we called a guy out front here, Ron Crom, and it was a done deal within no time at all. Oh, boy. And now we're in our 10th year and just keep on getting better and better. Biggest membership year ever, 4,900. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I, it's been good for Wisconsin Pool. You know, everybody obviously worries, you know, that we're going to water it down too much. But I think the interest in general in, in being able to play in these bigger events and stuff like that is, I think, just done nothing but grow, you know. I mean, uh, let's see. Oh, Bear Brothers is out of Beloit on the bottom there. Yeah, okay. You ever hear of that, Mr. Uh, Martin? Baird Brothers Bear Cues? Brothers Cues? Barrett Brothers Cues? They're out of Beloit, I no. guess. Mark Heller's got the shirt on, on table pit two. So what do you think? What do you think of the tournament so far? We're just kind of getting through a portion of it. Sunday. He's ready for Sunday. I think he's got a twenty-pound ham. He's ready to devour. Maybe I don't know. We got a we got a big uh, buffet at the Mad Apple. <clears throat> All right. Well, table number one. Since there's a little bit of a thinking spell here on table number two, uh, we got we've got uh, seven ball and eight right in the side, just waiting to tie it all up. Yeah, and that'll. Again, even things up on table number one, if that's the case. This Phil Hill match on pit two is, oh boy. Well, it's <laughs> it gets more interesting by the shot. Oh, they, they've they got a window here. Seven in the side, three ball, two ball, eight ball. I mean, looks like a bunch of stop shots or a little, little more, but. Toughest shot's going to be right here on the seven uh, on both tables. Yeah, seven. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. I think I can put my money at that. Mario. Thanks, Jeff. Marie will make this one, eh? Yeah, I think you're going to see a 3-3 three, three game here. So table number one, pit one, we got three to three, race to five, even up, both in their handicaps and in their race. Back over to pit two. He's going to try the seven in the side. I think if he makes that, this is going to be a short game. It's in. Drills it. I wouldn't so work I'm, too hard here, I don't think. Roll mm, this up. Come follow up, up with a little left out. and just mm -hmm. come back for the two in the side is my play. I agree. I mean, you can play it for the corner, too, but I don't, you know, you got to. Three balls away from making it to the finals in the uh, lower scotch, uh, fi uh, men's lower scotch. And that match will be held up for the start of the team play. Yeah, that wish we would have hit that a little harder. Yeah, we're running pretty close to time. You got a half hour before. Half the... hour for release and then an hour for play. Okay, six o'clock start. Six o'clock start, yeah, for the uh, Bs, and I think eight o'clock for the A's. We'll play two rounds of both tonight, not eliminating anybody. It'll be a opening round and a winner's bracket round for both. 10 15s, the last go off on the A teams. And the women and the Master A, double A start tomorrow then. 12, just hanging up down in the corner. He's playing. Uh, the meanwhile, corner. for the final game here over on pit two. Two ball corner. Two in the corner. Drain sill. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Look at the eight ball shot, too. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, Kitzman and Braun are happy to be alive yet because I think they thought that one was over. What are you going to do here? There are some options. I think you got to cut the 10, right? I mean,. That eight's in the center of the table, so no matter what, I think you got to go for this. I think cut the 10 over to the bottom left corner and uh, try and come around three rails back out for the nine. This is gutsy here. Would you cut the 10 into the deuce and leave him with the long eight ball? Would you give him a whack? I don't know. I don't Would think you? so. 
I think I would have to shoot this aggressively. I don't, uh, however, I don't mind the shot that he just looked at. Bank the nine, leave the cue ball behind the ten. Maybe. But that's a pretty narrow window, too, because you can go off the rail. But as deep as the two is into the hole, I mean, that's pretty deep in there. So it's also going to be questionable. We're still focused on pit table two here with the yeah I just choices available i'm looking at he's going to try to maybe play a safe on the nine and hide either the nine and the cue ball here real quick i'm just going to show you how deep that two ball oh, yeah. is in the That's hole no gimme he's definitely going to do a little there. soft shot here on a nine ball and got it that's good uh, that's pretty good real good now you got to really yeah. Short rail kick, which is not as easy. And you got to hit it pretty damn good to, to make that deuce as deep as it is and not scratch. Right. For me, I think uh, I like a little bit of a masse down the long rail. So around the nine just gives you quite a bit of room. But again, where's the cue ball going? Because you got to just barely catch it. And to not get stuck up there in the corner, even if you make the ball, is going to be kind of a miracle. I like this Massé better, actually. I like your odds of coming out of this better, but your odds of scratching are even higher. Right. But I think that's probably the right choice. He's going to look at it all. Could kick it. It's about the first diamond there, a little low. None of them are easy, just as deep as that two is. Anything no guarantees. Happen. All right, I think we're going to see it hit. He's made up his mind. Looks good from here. No, this didn't get the spin on it. Looked like he was going to give it a real run. Yeah, it was a tough hill game. A lot of opportunities on both ends. There's Todd. Todd. From uh, Over, On the Hill. On the Hill, yeah. One of my uh, sponsors for the WPBA nice, tournament yeah. back here in December. Yep. Stepping up to the plate for, I just mentioned you, for a cheeseburger. My newest five thousand dollars sponsor for WPBA right back in this building. Oh, we can't say that too loud because then they think he's got money.
An interesting choice there. Yeah, I, I I wasn't liking it myself, but looks like it works. Everybody. So pit table number two we got uh, Kitzman and Braun looking like they're going to try and take this down right now. They need this game. If they leave it up, though, if they would miss. Yeah. I think the best part of this scenario is it's not straight in, so he doesn't have to worry about the, the hard follow and scratch. He's got to focus on making the ball. And It's funny sometimes how tough that ball in the middle of the table becomes to get on in a good in a good way. Too many choices, right? He's going to yeah. draw here. I'm shooting follow. <laughs> if I'm shooting a shot, the little I play anymore, I'm shooting follow. Yeah, I would tend to agree with you. I think I'd be shooting just center follow, trying to hit the end rail to the side rail and go for the eight in the side pocket. Problem with that is if you really over roll it, you can shoot to the two, you know? Yeah. Must have hurt us. That's the shot. See, you, if he would have overrolled that, which he didn't, he hit it perfect. There was a chance to do it right. left. It. You called it. This is it to go to the finals. Kitzman with the eight ball in the side pocket on pit table two. All right. That'll with that, we have a match. Ending on pit table two, and Kendall will focus on pit table one as I exit and prepare for the team start. Sounds good. All right, thanks, and sir. We'll take you over there. Thanks for joining us, Dean. We appreciate it. Thanks for telling us what you got coming up. Look forward to seeing all this, all the good stuff. So. All right, very good. Right. See ya. Thanks. Yep. All right, we're going to take you guys over to number one. Nope, oh, nope, I'm on the wrong table. Never mind. Hold on just a second. No, I'm not on the wrong table. I'm on the right table. I don't know why that's doing that, though. That's the wrong scoreboard, that's why. All right, we're going to leave you there, but i got to bring up the other scoreboard. That's the wrong one. So we'll leave you there. We'll bring up the right scoreboard in a second. This match is tied 3-3. Three to three. I'll get the proper scoreboard over, and then we'll go from there.
All right, guys, there we got the proper scoreboard up for you. This is the finals match um, for the mixed upper division. Going on, Fred. Good to have you here. Good to see you. Let's see if we can't uh, get that overhead. A little crisper. Three three in this race to five, so <clears throat> really been neck and neck the entire way. Nobody's had more than a one game lead. So it really has been back and forth up to this point.
Place is really filling up here as we move into the team starting. Well, she's not going to be very happy with that. Left, uh, left him with just a little bit of a tough cut. Well, how do you all think this is going to go? Any guesses on the winner? Put it up in chat. Anybody's game at this point, but uh, maybe you got a preference for one reason or another. All right, he's going to opt to shoot the three right now, which probably is not the worst idea considering where the 11 is sitting. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not sure if this ball throws enough. It looks like it's close, but he can probably get this to cross over. Definitely takes the right spin and the right speed to get it there. It's easy to shorten this ball up too much. Had quite the, quite the crowd watching this game at the moment. All sitting over on the edge here. Well, you got it too far. It's not easy to do. Gonna take a look here. Got quite a few people obviously interested in what's going on in this match. Everybody kind of checking it out. You got Bonnie checking out her side pocket shot. But, uh, everybody's uh on the edge of their seat for this finals match here for the mixed upper scotch. She just really wants to see Scott cut that, or I'm sorry, uh, Karachi, Karachi. <laughs> I should have asked him how to pronounce his name, but uh, he's re really trying to cut this ball backwards. That's the same shot she left him before that he opted for the three, so I think we just hit it. Got 
Got to spin it enough to get back out for the eight. You don't want to under hit it either. Hit that perfect. Good shot there. Setting Bonnie up perfectly. Just feathers it in there. All right, four games to three in this race to five finals match. Karachi, got it. I won't mess it up again. Joseph, thank you for watching. Even though I mutilate names, we do our best. Couple of things to work out here yet. Still in better shape than solids with the uh, six and the two sitting the way they are. So probably the toughest two. Just got to be careful here not to mess up the 13. Well, which he did not. He also missed the ball. Remember, we do have a sign up bubble. Please sign up for your version. Come down for the small and two and down for the large.
Well, I know Scott and Maria definitely do not want to uh, give this up. It's going to end the game if they do. So they got to stay in here, win this game, stay in the match. Bonnie and Nick are undefeated, so. At least I believe that's correct. I should probably look at the bracket before I say that. Well, I take it back, actually. Wait, no, I don't. Okay, yeah, Bonnie and them are undefeated, so Bonnie and Nick uh, would win silver. Otherwise, Maria and Scott would have to beat them twice. Referees to the control stage. Referees to the control stage. Yeah, did I say Karachi wrong now again? Maybe. It says spelling doesn't help me. I can still pronounce it incorrectly. No matter what, it's not as bad as people mispronounce my last name. Well, maybe they're not mispronouncing. Could be intentional. Double whammy there. Missing the ball, leaving up ball in hand. It's going to be a great opportunity for Nick and Bonnie. Well, I'll tell you, that was a treat. I mean, I, I uh, Dean just interrupted me with uh, Rob Matson being here, and I haven't seen Rob in years. We used to compete against each other a lot at these state venues, and I uh, enjoyed playing him always. Always a tough competitor, and still is. He plays a lot of pool yet, but uh, it'll be good. We'll have him in the booth uh, later on some other matches and uh, do a little catching up and uh, talk to Rob about what he's doing, too. He's multi-state champion. Uh, both here and in Minnesota, uh, but great player. Uh, it'll be fun to catch up. You guys will enjoy hearing that, so hopefully you come around later and we can uh, talk a little bit with Rob Matson too. Meanwhile, we look like uh, Bonnie and Nick are looking to wrap this thing up. If Bonnie can just roll this forward, stay in control for these next few balls, it's looking great.
Let's try that again. So that's going to wrap things up. Bonnie Hunkins and uh, Nick Karachi went ahead and took that down. Congratulations to them on a great tournament. And also, obviously, runner-up uh, Maria and Scott. Uh, great shooting, hard-fought tournament the whole way. And uh, congratulations on the second place. Other than that, they're going to get ready for teams. We'll leave the stream run. I'll just take you guys out to maybe the uh, crowd and the ongoings around and uh, leave you guys there for a little while. We'll come back as soon as we got some matches coming, but uh, we'll leave things running anyway. So we'll see you guys soon.
All right, chat, wake up out there. Getting down there in this set, seven to nine. A couple of times it looked like Vibes was going to be able to take it out, and uh, only takes one shot, and you're out of the running. So these guys got to see if they can hold it together, stop kicking my cameras, you know, that kind of thing. Still got to get out there and fix pit two, but it's probably not worth it at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> Joe, I agree. That was definitely a foul. I was chuckling. It's kind of what made me put my headset on. Uh, I just kind of said out loud, <laughs> no foul there. I followed right through. If anybody's wondering what we're talking about, when you're that close to a ball and you try and follow forward, um, basically what happens is the cue ball hits the object ball slowing it before you can get the cue stick out of the way and you hit it again. So he definitely double hit and followed through that ball. You can tell by the action. It looked funny. But nobody called it. He kept shooting. No harm. Even though there was a foul. Nice six ball shots. I mean, if Shepherds can pull it together, win these two games uh, right here, they tie things up and it comes down to the final game. Could get exciting. Not exactly sure what that's about. They're on pit one if he's. Honestly, looking to bank this ball right now, he is. It's a unique choice. I'm sure the two ball goes. Honestly, banking this ball. I hope he makes it. It's... <laughs> Great shot. Puts it down. Well, he's got that one nailed. Maybe he can bank the one here, too. And try and snake his way between that uh, 12 9. Looks pretty tight. Well, I don't really know much about pool anymore. After he banked that ball in. Well, they must have missed a score. It's actually eight games to nine, it looks like. So, even closer. Vibes pulls these two games out, and they actually win the match after being down six games to nine. Might have been more than that. I just walked in at six to nine. If you guys are looking for the brackets, you got the copy score, sport... Uh, QR code down there at the bottom corner. If you're watching on TV, you can just scan that. Get you into the copy score. Uh, eight to nine. Yeah, that's what we got. Somebody must have missed one. Our scoreboard is a secondary scoreboard that they have out there. So it's possible that they wouldn't match. Oh, now that's going to be, that is not a foul because he did not 
affect the path of more than one ball. So typically, well, always that I know of, the rule is if you, unless it's all ball follows, but cue ball follows only, the only time that it is a foul is if you affect the path of two or more balls, um, which would include moving a ball out of the path of the cue ball, uh, which might have went through and hit that spot. Uh, Oh, score. Okay. Glad I backed that up because uh, I thought you were asking what the score is. I'm going to not be able to help you if you couldn't read the big numbers on the screen. But I've had it asked before, so. All right. Call him the two. Not sure if he's going to. Should be interesting. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, my bad. He's got solid or stripes. He's playing the follow shot. He almost got it in there on table one. Brackets. Oh, you must be talking about your March Madness bracket. Let's see, you got a bracket here. Torture you, I remember you. Well, actually, I remember your name. Looking to cut this ball in. Oh, no, he's banking it. Okay. I think stripes are in control here. They got a lot of the pockets blocked. I think if you wanted to start anywhere, it would start with just the 14 ball, leave the 10, 10 ball there, possibly. You know, I think on a shot like that where you got a fairly safe shot to hit, I would have tried to get on one of those two other balls so I didn't necessarily have to shoot my nine next. It's always there as a bailout, but give it a little more effort to get on one of the other two balls uh, instead of lim limiting yourself to just having to shoot it. I mean, he could shoot the 13 here just because he does have the blockers, which is what it looks like he's going to do. But the other way lets you get a little more aggressive a little sooner and gives you a little better chance of getting out, I think. Especially if he leaves him alone, which he didn't. Although a follow here isn't the worst shot in the world. It'd be tough to get shape on the eight. But you definitely could make the one. Might be able to cross bank the one, two, and draw back up into the eight. Would be an option. There's no might about it. You definitely could. So to do a crossover bank into the corner pocket going uh, 
the short rail. And then drawing your cue ball back up into the uh, 810 off the end rail. He's the bank guy. He's the guy that banked that five ball and table is open. I'm surprised he's not going to bank this. Not a fan of that choice. Got to make one ball here. He, if he can cut this ball, make the 12. Oh, might be over anyway. Nope, 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, no, that's match. I take it back. Shepherds took it down. Looks like. Maybe. Randy. Randy. Hey. Vibes took it down. I'm sorry, I got it. All right, so Vibes taking down their first round match, and we'll be back with the next match lining up. Yeah, Torture You, he did the same thing again this year, uh, Dave, at singles. So this is the team version of this. Uh, I got to go out and fix my camera uh, right now. So I will see you guys back, hopefully, after I get things straightened out over there. So I'll be back.